Good afternoon, everybody. This afternoon, I'll be showing you how to uh, build and assemble the 180 degree angle fold or unequal angle fold. Okay, so uh, this is from the book, The Elements to Pop Up. This is the piece right here. We're showing the angle fold. And, and as you can see, unlike the regular angle fold where everything's centered, you see the center line is centered. I'll show you here again too. This is a regular angle fold and everything is centered. So all the movement's going to go straight up and down. The unequal angle fold um, changes that. So things are no longer centered. They're going to go to the right or to the left. So if that's what you want, this is the, this is the mechanic you, you should use. Uh, um, this is the piece. And I want to show you something real quick, real quick here. So um, this is the 90 degree. And, and I'm using this to show you because um, it, works all, it works flat. So this is, this is how this angle works. You, you see, to make this happen, you, you make two different angles, different sizes. This, this angle is more acute than this angle. And this is how it looks when it's flat. So the trick here is where to position this piece on the base page. How do you find the angles where these, people, where these pieces properly attach? So when you decide that you're going to make an unequal angle fold and you make this piece, and you, I, I, I randomly choose an angle, this angle, and, th and, th and this angle is smaller than this angle, but that's my random, I start there. Then where does, where does this, where does the side attach on this angle? How do you, how do you determine that? Well, it's actually quite simple. This is, um, this is how it would look completely flat. And if you flip this over, you'll see that the angle of attachment on the left-hand side with the larger angle is actually the same angle as the smaller angle. See that right there? That's where, that's where you determine how, how to make that attach. Now that works at 180 degrees. What we're doing this afternoon at, no, that works at, this works at 90 degrees. What we're doing this afternoon is, is the same version at 180 degrees. And like the, um, the equal angle fold or the regular angle fold, if you, um, if you make the angle of attachment a little bit less, then that determines how, how, how high the pop-up stands off the page. That is what sets the dimension itself. So, as you can see here, I, 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 I've made a pattern. This is the angle that, that I've chosen. These are the two different angles that I've chosen. This is the first experiment. And where it attaches, you flip this piece over, you move this angle over here, and there's your angle. So if you wanted to keep it at 100, if, if you want to make this pop-up open all the way flat, you would attach it at the exact same angle here. But we want it to stand up a little bit, so I'm making the angle of attachment on the base page a little bit more acute, a little bit less than the original angle right there. So see what it is. So this angle right there, the angle of attachment for this side is a little bit less than that angle. Let's see what happens when, when we do that. Okay, there's my, there's my, there's my tab. Okay. Fold it closed. I like to pre-fold the scores too. That really helps the pop-up to stand up right. All right, there we go. And notice this, this tab's big and, and I've made it exactly the right size, but that tab could be, you know, smaller piece like that if you wanted to. The glue on there. Thirty seconds. We'll hold that down about thirty seconds. Get some nice fiber bond going. And here's your 180 degree unequal angle fold. And you can see you, you have dimension and movement. And the movement is off center. That's what you're after. There you go. And here's an example of that in use. This is something I'm, a project I'm working on right now. So these are, these are unequal angle folds combined with regular angle folds. You can see the, the main structures move off center. This is a this is an unequal angle fold. This one is an unequal angle fold, and it moves these off center. 
the 180 degree unequal angle fold, figure number 23. Thank you.